Let's go! Guys, today I'm going to show you this chart and this is going to surprise you, but this is one big reason why you should be buying Bitcoin. And we're talking about Bitcoin, of course, on lower time frames. We're talking about Ethereum, Cardano, traditional markets. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Cristiano, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe right now because we are almost at 200,000 subscribers, completely insane. So make sure to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. Okay, let's begin by talking about this triangle right here. So we talked about this triangle briefly yesterday and we showed you that we could potentially have a golden cross happening on the four hourly time frame. But for now, you can see that yes, we are still inside of this triangle on the four hourly time frame. So we will see. It seems like we may be about to test this on the downside here at $35,000. But yeah, this is maybe going to continue for a couple of more days before having a rather big breakout, I believe. Is it going to be to the up or to the downside? So I'm going to keep you updated regarding that. But the levels to watch if we break to the up or to the downside are actually just as you know. My orange box here at 34400 You got my orange line at $33,000. And then you have the uh, right now infamous $30,000 level right here. So if we look on lower time frames and what's been happening recently, you can see that we went down here just a couple of, I think this is actually just a couple of minutes ago. Yeah. And you can see that we're finding support at my blue line. So I'm guessing some of you actually bought here. So buy in uh, at this blue line. So you are probably up a little bit here if you're using leverage. So that's cool to see. But what should we pay attention to? Well, if we go back to the four hourly time frame, you know that we have the orange box at $38,000 here, but just as infamous as the $30,000 level, we also have the $42,000 level up here. So those are going to be pretty logical uh, points to take profit at or to buy at if we break down uh, at $30,000 and $42,000. So expect those levels to be respected. And what I also want to show you is if I flip on the Lux Algo, I'm going to show you actually on this chart, flipping on the Lux Algo right now. Um, you can see that on the 15 minute chart, on the 30 minute chart and on the one hour chart, the Lux Algo is actually looking pretty bullish right now. So it has flipped bullish on the 15, the 30 and the one hour, but on the four hour and on the daily, the Lux Algo is still not bullish. Now the four hourly I would say is the most important one when it comes to the Lux Algo. And uh, speaking of which, I want to show you this because we actually did get a sell here on the Lux Algo right at uh, 30, what is that? 30, let us not cherry pick this. So 31st of May at 8, 31st of May at 8. So on this candle at 37,500, we did get that sell, but we have already gone down a bit. So we have already gone down. So I don't think that this is tradable right now, but if you were using this and you were paying attention, of course, you were able to see this and I am going to add an alert service to this. So yeah, look forward to that. Everyone who are uh, uh, actually watching or wanting to see these uh, signals, I am going to set up an alert channel for that. But for now, this is what you need to pay attention to. We haven't had a flip, a bullish flip on the four hourly time frame yet, but 15, 30 and one hour, they are already bullish. So yeah, we will see if this is also going to flip here uh, in a bit. Another thing to pay attention to is the uh, moving averages, which we talked about a little bit yesterday. It seems like we may be about to see a cross from the 50 and the 100. So if we cross this, if you watched my video yesterday, usually that means that we go up in price. Now, it's not 100% certain. Of course, everything uh, is a method. Everything is uh, a model and it works until it doesn't. So maybe now that a lot of people are watching this, maybe it's not going to work uh, the same as it has been previously. But previously we have gone up once you saw a cross from the orange here through the purple one. And if we continue to go sideways here and then go up, then we are going to see that cross. So I am going to keep you updated on that also, of course. 
Now, moving on, let's talk a bit about Ethereum. So Ethereum is still just following Bitcoin. It's doing pretty well. It's doing pretty well, I have to say. I mean, no disaster for Ethereum. We're still above many of these uh, very important uh, lines here on Ethereum. Next level of resistance is still going to be $3,000 and orange line at $3,300. So pay attention to that. For Cardano, we are still above the orange box here at $1.50. Next level of support of resistance is still going to be $1.82. You got at $2 as well. Now, before I show you this chart right here, and I'm going to tell you why I am buying Bitcoin right now, even though we are going down. If you want to start trading, you're able to get $2,610 for free over on Bybit. So if you want to support the channel and you're going to trade anyway, then make sure to use this link and take advantage of this bonus. If you want to use the Lux Algo, of course, you got 20% on Deluxe Algo with the code Stacker20. So let's look at this chart. So what you're looking at is Bitcoin compared to the S&P 500. Now, we usually watch the S&P 500 and I tell you that if this goes up, I mean, if we are not seeing a stock market crash, that is good for Bitcoin. It's good for crypto because that means that, you know, people are not panicking and people are confident and Bitcoin is going to yeah, be in a healthy state to actually go up. Now, you can see here that we are having a couple of green candles on the traditional markets, which is good. The previous all-time high was actually not here, or was it? Yeah, it was here actually at 4,236. So that is looking good. But if you compare the S&P 500 to Bitcoin, it is looking like this. And what we are watching here, this is the weekly time frame, is that since the inception of Bitcoin, Bitcoin has been outperforming the traditional markets and the S&P 500 for, yeah, its existence. And how much is it up right now? If we take it from the bottom here and you take it to the peak, we were actually up 939,000%, uh, completely insane to actually say that, but almost 1 million percent compared to the S&P 500 in the stock market. And now you may say, okay, but the stock market has not been performing that well, but it has. The stock market has been absolutely crazy recently. And still, Bitcoin is outperforming the stock market. So when you consider inflation, when you consider where you are going to put your money, are you going to keep it in fiat, which is depreciation uh, or depreciating by the day? No, I'm not going to put it in fiat because I'm losing purchasing power. Am I going to put it in gold? Well, the same thing is true for gold. This is Bitcoin compared to gold and Bitcoin is outperforming gold tremendously. Now, gold has been having a nice little run here the last couple of weeks. I will give uh, gold that. But I think that Bitcoin is going to continue to outperform gold as well. So if I'm going to put it somewhere, well, I might as well put it into something that is outperforming the stock market, that is outperforming gold. And so these dips you're seeing, you know, we may talk about triangles. We're talking about everything that's going on in crypto and this or that and formations and bullish cross and bearish death cross. Over time, Bitcoin has already proven itself and I think that it is going to continue to do extremely well. And so I have no problem buying Bitcoin at these levels. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.